Matthew. Matthew chapter 7. Matthew 7. Verse 7. Versículo 7. As and it shall be given you, sit and you shall find, not and it shall be open unto you. Pidi lo guardo nada vos, busca y vos lo haya, bati y lo guardo abriba vos. This is the word of God. And the word of God is true. My question is, if God said, when you ask, you shall receive. When you seek, you shall find. And when you know, the door shall be opened. Why is it not happening to many Christians? Amen. Amen. You should ask yourself, why is it not happening? That is what we want to see in the world. It's a failure to keep the commandment. Amen. Failure to keep the commandment. The commandment of God is the foundation of the kingdom. And if anybody is going to receive from him, that will be your foundation. Let's go to the book of John. Let's see what the commandment says. You see, when Israel kept his commandment, they were blessed. Any time they set the commandment of God aside, they don't receive anything. John 13, 34 to 35. A new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. By this shall all men know that you are my disciples if you have loved one to another. O mandamento do homem não é do nosso, para você estima outro. E me escolhes com a minha estima vosso, para você também estima outro. Na essa que tu reina o santo, vosso também discípulo. Se vosso tem amor um para outro. Any time a child of God or a Christian fails in the area of loving his brother or sister, you hinder your God from receiving. You hinder yourself from receiving from God. Why? It is a command. It is not an option. The commandment of God in the book of uh, Exodus, the Ten Commandments, Jesus sum it up with one commandment in New Testament, love. Because if you check the uh, commandment in the book of Exodus, one to five, deals with God, six to ten, deals with human beings, which means if you love God, you will not disobey, you will not do anything against himself. If you love your neighbor also, you will not steal from him, you will not kill him, you will not take his wife, do not take what belongs to him. That is why he sum it up. That when you love, you open up yourself to receive blessing. John 14, 13 to 15. And whatsoever you ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments. If you love me, you will be my name, and you will be my name, and you will be my name, and you will be my name. If you love me, you will be my name, and you will be my name, and you will be my name. So if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. But you must keep my commandments. And this is the place many Christians are failing. When I say loving you a Christian brother, I'm not saying loving with teeth. I love him with your heart. I'm going to show you today that God sees our heart. Verse 21. The same chapter. 
He that hath my commandment and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be love of my father. And I will love him and will manifest myself to him. Let's do it to one of the See that? Say, he that had my commandment and keep it there. He is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be love of my father. And I will love him. And I will manifest myself. What does that mean? I will bring the world to pass. So I will manifest myself. Because he is the world. Amen. Amen. Many Christians are failing here. They are seed sowers. They are titans. But they break the commandment. Every day. The man of God said. Almost 90% of the church in the whole world does everything. But this one thing that will bring blessing, they don't do it. You know why? We will see that later. 1 John 3 22 to 24. And whatsoever we ask, we receive of him because we keep his commandment and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. And this is his commandment that we should believe on the name of his son Jesus Christ and love one another as he gave us commandment. And he that keepeth his commandment dwelleth in him, and he in him. And hereby we know that he abided in us by the spirit which he hath given us. E chi uno spiri non sarà ricevuto di fornice, ma solo non sta guarda su mandamento, non è tanto se costa quanto aggradava nel suo bisno. E essa che da su mandamento, per non scherere di enorme di suo Gesù su Cristo, estima altro, ma scosco la ordina a noi. E su guarda su mandamento lo permanece di ce, e è di ce. E non è sa che non sa quanto permanece di noi, ma meglio di spirito che la dona a noi. So whatever we ask, Lo que sea nos pide, we receive nos because Paso, we keep his command. Which means, which means whatever we ask Lo que nos pide, that we don't receive que nos no recibe, is because Paso, we don't keep the commandment. De amor. Church people have people they love. Iglesia tiene una cosa de estima. The select people they love. I will love this. I will not love this. But one thing you should know is everybody in the church is a child of God if they are one here. And it is a commandment for you to love them. Not because of what they do to you, but because Christ is in them. Amen? You want your prayer answer? Love. Believers. When you do Deuteronomy 28, 1 to 14, the blessing will manifest in your life. Tell your neighbor, prepare your heart to love. Amen. Hallelujah. Number two. Number two. Lack of knowledge. Falta di conoscimento. Say lack of knowledge. Pisa falta di conoscimento. When you lack knowledge. Ora vuoi di falta di conoscimento. Of what the words. Di lo che parlava da visa. You cannot receive. O no por visivi. I put that there. Ma scrive che nana. Lack of knowledge of your new bed. Falta di conoscimento di buon nascimento nuovo. Do you know that when you the moment you are born again, you don't have a human life any longer. You have eternal life. Some people are waiting 
for them to get to heaven before they get eternal life. But you have eternal life. And because they are waiting until they get to heaven, they will not enjoy the benefits of eternal life now. Hello? Hello? If you recognize who you are after you are born again, and start to operate like that, you will see that most of the things that are affecting natural people have no right to touch you. Because you are operating in the spiritual realm. You have the life of God. The life of God is flowing in you. So once a person is a new body or is in Christ, all things are passing. Behold, all things become new. And all things are of God. For example, For example, if you are sick, si malo, you should tell the sickness, digo, se malesa, can you be in the body of God? De curva de Dios? Hello? Hello? I'm telling you how to challenge sickness. Si As a sick, maleza, can you be in the body of God? Maleza, putre, po, po, the life de of God de is flowing in me. E e de Dios you de you de have no right to be here. No, let me tell you something. Maybe someone. What you don't understand, Lo que no comprende, you can have faith for it. No faith in That's why the Bible says, my people, Mi pueblo, they perish by perdi, for lack of knowledge. Let's go forward. No, no, sí. You are right standing with God. Do you know that God is waiting to see what you will do with his word? He has given you the right. You are his righteousness. People don't know that. That God has lifted us to his level. The moment we are born again. That is why you can see a man will look at him. Someone that is, is lame says stand up and walk. And it works. The Bible says you are God. The same way Adam was. That's what Jesus restored. But many of us because we don't believe it. It doesn't work for us. We go to God, condemn every day. Many people, their prayer is God forgive me, God forgive me. God forgive me. God wanted to stand by His word. Receive what belongs to you. Your right to live healthy. Your right to be prosperous. When you are praying as the righteousness of God, your prayer is totally different from someone who is better. In God. You have a covenant with God that gives you right to what belongs to God. That was the testimony I gave to you on Sunday. I said, The earth is the Lord. The fullness. And Jesus said, What belongs to the Father belongs to me. The earth belongs to me. Nobody has a right to take me out of this earth. Hello? Hello. Yes. Lack of knowledge on how to stand with the word of God. And stiffness of confession has robbed many their inheritance. A lot of believers don't know how to stand with the word of God. They are not firm. I was telling you to sister already this afternoon. Your confession matters. Many of you start to confess. One week, two weeks, three weeks, two months, four months, five months, you stop. You stop. You know why? You stop because you don't believe it. If you believe it, you are not stopping until you see what you are confessing. Manifest. Because that's how God lives. And the reason people are not steadfast is because they have not come to the understanding that the word of God doesn't fail. 
The word of God doesn't fail. That is why you see me in the first place. Start confession. After six months. No, it doesn't work. Who told you it doesn't work? He that cometh to God must believe that God is. You must believe that the word of God is. And therefore you are going to tell whatever thing that is happening. I don't care. If I am confessing for this remote control. Until I have it in my hand. I am not stopping. I gave out the testimony. said there is, a, there is a car I love to drive. Before I go to heaven. I must drive it. I have been confessing it for the past one year. But now what happened? When my children see that car, they say, Papa's car. Because I, and it, they told me, last year you said it, I said, yeah, one day you will see it parking in front of me. Many of us will confirm when people start to laugh us at us, we, we, we forget about it. Let's go for them. Colossians 1. Steadfastness. When you are not steadfast in your confession, you can't make it. You can't receive. Amen. Amen. Colossians 1. 9 to 10. For these thoughts we also since the day we had it do not cease to pray for you and to desire that you might be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. That you might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. <laughs> E di pi di paposo buono gli è nacque conoscimento di sua volontà, di tutta sabedoria spirituale e comprendimento. E non sta pi di paposo cana in una maniera digna di Signore, ma agradece di tutto il sentito, donando frutta di tutta buona obra e crescendo di conoscimento di Dio. E di knowledge of His will. Di conoscimento di sua volontà. E di knowledge of God. E di conoscimento di Dio. Where you have no knowledge. Ora quando di conoscimento. I am not saying. Mi non tavi santo. When you don't see truth in the Bible. Ora quando mi resti vedi il Bible. When you don't come to church. Ora quando vi iglesia. When you don't read it. Ora quando te le si. No, but when you have that knowledge in you. No, però ora quando ti e conoscimento e tutto. This is the will of God. Esatto, ti voglio dire Dio. This is who God is. Esatto, ti voglio dire Dio. By the time such knowledge comes to you, nothing fears you anymore. Nothing disturbs you. No mountain is too big for you. I mean it. You know why? Many of us, we Christians, we don't know God. Hello, I'm sorry to say that. Hello, the Spencer, but Mrs. We don't know God. I told someone recently. I said, if you really know, if you are a prayer warrior, I want to see the anointing work for you first. If it doesn't work for you, don't call yourself a prayer warrior. Because at times we've involved in so much religion. Can I pray for you? Have you prayed for yourself? Yeah, if you are really getting answers to prayer, we should be able to see it. If we know God as Christians, we should be able to see it in us. We should be able to see God. I don't know much. I want to know you. But we come and flag it with religion. I know, I know. No. No. You don't need to tell someone that no, you know God. The people that know God, they see the manifestation. Many of us know the Bible, we know how to read it. But the knowledge of this great God does not reveal knowledge. When you have a revealed knowledge of who God is, you don't worry about the prayer being unanswered. You know that you know. God will answer you. And every time the devil comes against you, without your unbelief, you tell him, get behind me, I know him. I know him. He will answer. He has already answered. He has found it in the world. You are going to see how do you know him. Let's see what Peter said. Second Peter. 
We carry the thing that will make us millionaires. We give us good health. We give us everything we need on earth. We carry it in our hands. The Bible. And yet we are running up and down. Looking for help. But rather we have the help. Second Peter. One. Uno. According as his divine power had given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that had called us to glory and virtue, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by this ye might be partakers of divine nature. Having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Como que su poder divino dura nos tur con su dependencia en la vida y santidad, donde conocimiento verdadero de Jesús ha llamado nos para medio de su mes gloria, excelencia y virtud. Pasó para medio esa que na el dura nos su promesa na precioso y maravilloso. Cupa medio de na por su poder a participar de la naturaleza divino y a cupo su escape por la corrupción que tiene el mundo por causa de pasión. Peter said the promises, the purpose of the promises. If we have knowledge of what it is, it is for us to live this life away from the corruption of the world. But before that can happen, we must have knowledge of what the promises are. That's what God did. This covenant. Say, you have it. This, that's what he told Joshua. Joshua, if you understand this covenant, success. Many Christians will carry the Bible. Have you ever seen people, they pray? After finish praying, they go outside there. And they said, I hope God had it. Have you heard it? I hope God had it. How can you say that? He is covenant. He is the one that gave you the covenant. Oh, you need to say, God, thank you for all you have had. Because one, you did not ask him to make the covenant. He made it and said, look, if you stand on this, I hear you. I have answered you. But one thing is these people don't know. Manifestation of what God promises you depends on your belief. Are you afraid in that word? When you are hoping, I hope God has you. There is no faith in that. Jesus made a blind, two blind people. See? Son of David, help me. You know what he told him? Do you believe? Say, according to your belief. Amen. So if you don't understand what the promise is, how can you believe it? If you don't understand that the promises of God is forever settled, God can change it. If you understand that, you are not going to be worried after praying. Many people they worry after praying. I told someone, instead of you to worry after praying, why do you pray? But there's no need to pray if you are going to worry. Hello. Hello. There you are, neighbor. Mr. Bobisinha. No worry. No preocupa. Pastor, you don't know how the situation is. I'm going to show you the situation. I know the time will be enough for me. Let me show you situations. There is no situation that is as big as death. No situation is as big as death. Believe me. That is the highest thing that can happen. But I'm going to show you today a woman. Look at that. And say, all is well. Can you do that? God act by what you say. Then you look at 
understand your situation. It is worse than anything you can it think of. All is well. And later, because you said all is well, all will be well. Amen. Proverbs 4. Receiving from God. Knowledge have you received from Proverbs 4. Get wisdom. Get understanding. Forget it not. Neither decline from the words of my mouth. Forsake her not and she shall preserve thee. Love her and she shall keep thee. Wisdom is the principal thing. Yet forget wisdom and with all that get it, get understanding. Exalt her and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor when thou doest embrace her. She shall give to thee to thy head an ornament of grace, a crown of glory, shall she deliver to thee. Adquirir sabiduría, adquirir comprendimiento. No olvides mi palabra nada, ni desvía por ti nada. No abandona la sabiduría, y e sabiduría lo guardaba. Estimé, y e lo cuidaba. El principio de sabiduría da adquirir sabiduría. Y de baturcos, adquirir comprendimiento. Alcé, y e lo alzaba. E lo honraba si por bracé. E lo pone un adorno de gracia de la boca vez. E lo regalaba un corona de gloria. Ability. Habilidad. To apply. Para aplicar. The word of God. Y palabra de Dios. It's called wisdom. Ese no se llama sabiduría. You see, you, for example, for example, I can give them the word of God. Me puedo dar dos de palabra de Dios. The same word. El mismo palabra. But it will be a different result. Pero lo que resultará es diferente. Depending. Dependiendo. On the ability. Sin nada habilidad. To apply that word. Para aplicar la palabra y sabiduría. And that comes through meditation. David said, I have much understanding because of my meditation. You see, when you have revelation of what the word is, applying it becomes easier. The reason many people in the church today don't apply the word that will help them live life successfully is because they have no revelation knowledge of what the word is. Any Christian that is failing is not because God is not God. Or any Christian that you see that goes to church but never apply the word of God. You know why? Such a person has no revelation knowledge of what the word is. Because if such a person has revelation knowledge, he or she will know that all the answers is looking for and life is only Amen. it you will see some people they will tell you I can't give because I am in debt I can't tithe because I have debt foolishness what is it that is going to bring you out of that debt is it not God not that you if you obey him si from the heart? But because they learn the knowledge, they look at their circumstances. Some of you say, I'm what I'm tithing. That is why we are bringing up these things. You don't know how to love. You know, if you are tithing, but you don't know how to love. You cannot be tithing without love and it doesn't work. Tithe who works. But don't know how to love. It's not going to work. Tithe who works, but they don't understand what tithe means. It's not going to work. And that is the problem in the church. If you bring tithe as a topic in the church, People don't want to hear that. He's talking about money. No, you need to know what you are doing. Because if you don't know what you are doing, it won't work for you. 
Porque lo no funciona para But the church don't want to hear that kind of message. The Bible says, faith, come ever here. By the word of God, do you know that tithing has a process? But the church don't want to hear. That is lack of knowledge. That people put money into the envelope and drop it. But the tithing is supposed to start from house. It's supposed to start to rejoice from home. It's supposed to hand it over to the king of kings. You tie to him. Not to pastor. Pastor who only bless you when you tie to the king of kings. Because he is the high priest. Yeah. So what do we do? We put our tithe in the envelope there. We're supposed to rejoice at home. Say, Lord, this is my tithe. I worship you with my tithe. I give it to you. The children don't know. They don't know what it is. That is why they just think, think God is interested in you putting money in the envelope. He's interested in the worship. That is a need. I told the last, I'm not going to teach on tithing. He said, yeah, if you don't teach on tithing, I'm not going to be blessed because many of them don't know what it is. Churches now don't even want to do this. how they do it. Not even the pastor blessing the people. Check in the Bible. The priest receives it and bless. What do they do? Everybody puts it in the middle, puts it in the middle. How can I? He said, it, it's not in the Bible. When Abraham brought it to me, he received it. He received it. A blessing. The Bible said, don't have praise. We bring it in the basket. The priest received it in the basket. And pronounce blessing upon the people. 